Hi guys, welcome back to Retro Renovations. So, we made a purchase. As you guys may be aware, I tend to keep retro stuff. Yeah, we do play with it occasionally, hence like Ghostbusters and stuff, but we do store stuff. Now, I don't know if you guys had it or know of it, but when I was a child, I had a collection of Manta Force. The Manta Force was made by Bluebird Toys um, and it was absolutely fabulous. And my favourite one was just a Manta Force ship. It was a grey ship. It may have a title name, but I just knew that as the main Manta Force. And it was a large spaceship with tons and tons of spaceships in amongst it. Now, I'm in Faith, our other van. I've received the parcel. It's cold, that's why I've got my coat on. Uh, Jack's in the other van and he won't come out because it's warm in the other van. He wants to stay there. I'll just open the door, see if he wants to join me again. You coming in? That's it. You gonna say hello to the people? Say hello to the people. Jackie boy. Jackie boy, you can open some parcels with me. You can open this parcel. Yeah, that parcel, that's it. You can open some parcels. Come join us. to put the camera at a right funny angle for you guys to join me for this one so I've got a large box and a smaller box and uh, a pair of scissors so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the box and see what we got the Manta Force was made in the early 80s and I actually purchased the Manta Force lunchbox. Now hands up, who had the Manta Force lunchbox? So the one I purchased the other day is immaculate and it's date stamped 1981. <coughs> yes it is Jack. Now if you had it, go on our social media. Uh, you can find us Retro Innovations on Instagram. <coughs> And you can find Retro Renovations on Facebook. I will put a picture this week of the lunchbox on there. Jack's joining in. Yeah, you are, isn't you? He doesn't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you lot. So, uh, let's get opening this box. Now, James May, who formerly Top Gear and... G what are they called? G Grand Tour. He's got his own YouTube channel. And he was one of the most, I think it was 2019, he had the most views from opening a box. That's what he did. He just had a parcel and he opened a box. And people loved it. They loved opening a box. Now I know I did that earlier when we had the solar panels. But that was quite a while ago now. So I thought you guys might want to join me for opening this box. Now the person who sent me this box... <laughs> Really, really whacked it well. So, uh, yeah, fair play to him. Wow, would you believe it? It appears to be a box within a box. So I've opened the big box. Put the scissors down a minute, because I'm going to jab myself in a minute. I've got a box within a box. I can't lift the inner box out, can I? Oh yes I can. No I can't, the whole bottom's gone. Right, so we're not going to lift the inner box out. So I'll unpack the inner box as we go. There's a good bit of packing in it, look at that. Chuck that down there, we don't want that do we? Now, 
Who remembers Manta Force? Do you remember them? That was the lid or the, the top of the ship because they made out that it was a, a ship within a ship so that was one ship on its own but that was actually the lid that's the ship it's a bit battered this one it's not an immaculate version but uh, yeah it does a job so we're just unpacking this for a minute when it's all unpacked, I'll change the camera angle and let you see it. I've also got the island. Do you, remember, you guys remember the island? I never had the island as a kid. As a kid, I only had that grey ship, but the island was here. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. We're going to put that down over there a moment. And then a lot of other people's favourite which is the follow-on to the grey ship it was Red Venom remember Red Venom? that was the second ship, that was like the follow-on so when Bluebird released these toys they released the grey ship, the Red Venom and then obviously they re released the, 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 the mountain range as they called it let's put that there a moment And then inside they released all these little ships that sit inside mainly that one. Now we've just got a whole load of bits here. This was always my favourite. Now all these ships, as I said, sit inside this big ship. So I'm going to unpack this. Look at them, aren't they fabulous? I'm going to unpack this. And then I'm going to put it all together in the other ship and I'll change the camera angles. We've got all the different colour ones here. Uh, I think that's part of the, the Red Venom ship. That's the, that's, the, that's the lid for the Red Venom spaceship. That's the cap to go onto that one. Slide him on there. That's the door. So this is just all bits, that was a good one, I always like these ones. This is bringing back a long, long time ago, the memories. Now the nice thing about this one, this, these toys are a little bit battered. But the reason why I managed to purchase this one, and I will give them a shout out, Sue Ryder, the charity, do an eBay shop. And I was the lucky winner. Someone's obviously all donated this Mount of Force set and uh, I see it on their eBay shop and I was lucky the, the highest bidder and uh, yeah Man of Horse is highly collectible now if you look it up there's a there's a big calling for this stuff now and like I say it's more special and personal to me because I had it as a child but a lot of these bits and pieces are from the Red Venom and I didn't have the red set now the special thing, the one thing that really made Manifold very special was it had a whole sequence of little men. This is, they're not Lego men, they are unique in a sense. If I get right up at the camera, Manifold men. Now I'll just try and find a ship. Now this thing with Manifold men, they fit perfectly in the ship. Let me get another one. They come in all different colours. There's a yellow one, little Mount of Force man. And the idea is they fly the ships. And some of the ships are really shaped. So uh, if I like to get this one, this is a good little ship. Lift up the lid. Fold the man. And he just fits in there. Look at that, he just fits in there. I'll do that for the camera. He just about fits in there. He's made to measure. Put him in. Close the lid down <laughs> and off he goes on his mission. And then we landed down. So all different ships. You got like the motorbike ship. 
So it's very Star Wars-y, Star Trek style. And obviously if we find another little man, got a purple man here. Got a purple man. Let's uh, angle him. I think they stand up in this one. So I think he would... Uh, I think he would sit like that he'd lay sort of lay down in it so his controls in his arms fit in the sides there so uh, that's very good and he fell out so he, he crashed that ship when he because he fell out he didn't have his seatbelt on and then obviously you had these perfect ones which this would have gone into the the gray set this probably would have been a land ranger like hover along the land so let's get a little man for him so he's he's a robot look robot mount of force let's pop open the lid find a little man let's have a little blue one this time little blue man see and we're gonna pop him in there As i say they're real tight fit because they're just about made to fit pop his lid on there he is, he's controlled, little man ship. Off we go. Yeah, so I'm just going to have finished packing this box. This is all the spare. And I'll put some of this stuff together and show you it. Fantastic. See you in a moment. I'm back. Right, this may sound like madness to you guys. And I'm just looking all over the place because I've been all over the place. But that one I've just unpacked was for spares. I've also got this parcel for a spider. Uh, get off me, get off me, get off me. He's off me, thankfully. He's in the van now. You don't want a spider in the van, do we? I'll be back. Nasty spider evicted. Damn things. So I've got this huge parcel which was sent to me back in April. And I've still never opened it, hence why I'd have probably had a spider on it. So I'm going to zip this open and if this is something else, that's going to cock up the whole video. Am I allowed to say that? Not allowed to say that. This one's packed a lot better. Yeah, I have had a parcel sitting around since April that I haven't opened. That's how busy a year it's been. That's quite good, isn't it? They wrapped it in the plastic, keep it waterproof, and then they put it in a giant bit of cardboard. That's, uh, This one's special. It is the boat parcel. Oh, it's like Christmas. Big amount of brown paper there that I keep my starting paper for the fire. That'd be fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the camera angle for you guys because this is exciting. Inside this parcel was the boxed version. Now this one should be pretty much complete. Let's have a look. Just got to figure out, oh it's open from this end. I'm going to end up with a lot of packaging. Look how much packaging I've got. I don't mind packaging because I'm an eBay. I sell. I don't keep everything retro. Sometimes we just play with stuff and we let it go. And some things like this we don't want to sell, we want to keep. But fair play to this person, they really packed it nicely. Oh, look at them ships. I'm just going to try and lift this out. Oh, yes. I'm going to move the box over there. 
I want to keep that because that is the original box. I'm just going to have to see if there's a date on it. Man of Force Bluebird Toys, manufactured in Great Britain. This one, 1987. This one. What a fabulous toy. If you was a child in 1987 and you unwrapped this, you'd be excited as I am now. There's the men. Don't worry, we'll get them out of that bag soon because they'll suffocate. More packaging, sorry if you don't like the noise, let's cut it with scissors so they don't make that horrible noise. I know Peggy can't stand that noise. This is a gem because this one is really looked after. Doors are complete on the front, side windows are on, stickers are in place, rockets on the back, the lid on the top. So if I put him there, while you open it, you open the front doors. You drop down the little loading pad. Just move, he's got wheels on as well. We'll just move his packaging. You push down the top. And the lid comes off, just like the other one. The men sit in there as well, see? Little seats and that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to load this one up. And then I'll show it to you. So here it is open in all its glory. All the men sit in their seats around the edge ready for transport. We've got guns on the top. All the little ships sit inside. How fabulous is that? Like I say you can open them up. Take the man out. Put him inside ready. He's ready. The main ship. Open him up. Let's choose a white one. Come on. Don't be stubborn. Oh dear. My hands are not as good as they were as a kid. And there he is. All loaded up. He's ready. Then you got these multi ones like this so you could have uh, two men flying in that one and bits in there now if I remember rightly this one originally came with a rope so you was able to pull things up and it had little red bullets in uh, I'm just gonna have a look in my spares Did I see a red bullet in there? There's one. I think that's the kitty. It's a bit hard while holding the camera. I'm going to put it on my lap a minute. Yeah, it's so there you go, the bullets in and ready. That was probably too fast for the camera, and that's landed on the floor, which is probably why most of the bullets are missing nowadays. I'll find that before I pack up. So, yeah, that gun still works. And the big gun, sorry, get my thumb in the way of the excitement now. The big gun, there's a bullet. Don't want to work now. I loaded it up a minute ago. Off camera, it shot me. Oh. Wow, that shot me. Better than mine is old now. That one's a bit springy. There you go, he's loaded. You see that on the camera? 
I don't want to fire though. So that was funny. It stopped recording because I had a phone call from work. And as I had a phone call from work, this thing went off and shot me. <laughs> it won't load up now. And it doesn't want to, it only wants to work off a camera because I say it just loaded up and it, oh, oh there it goes, clicking. It works when it wants to work. It probably only worked when it wanted to work when it was new. So anyway, all the men are loaded up. Let's put them in. You don't want to hear me waffle on anymore. Let's load him up. This is the lid. There's three men, Captain, one is one asleep. Like a big kid, we go. Close him up. There he goes, he sits on top, nice fit. Close the, the drawbridge, the loading bay, whatever name you want to call it. Close the front doors. And we're ready for a mission. Let us know. I think someone's ringing me again now. Look, I think toys were much cooler in 1987. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you.